Jacques Derrida, Restitutions of the Truth in Pointing, Pointure. Pointure, Latin punctura, old synonym of prick, term in printing, small iron blade with a point used to fix the page to be printed on the tympan, the hole which it makes in the paper, term in shoemaking, glove making, number of stitches in a shoe or glove, in the tray. I owe you the truth, and I will tell you, it to you. Cezanne. But truth is so is so, but truth is so dear to me, and so is the seeking to make truth that indeed I believe. I believe I would still rather be a cobbler than a musician with colors. Van Gogh. What interested me was finally to see explained from a certain angle why I had found this passage of Heidegger's on Van Gogh ridiculous and lamentable. So it really was the naivete of what Shapiro rightly calls a projection. One is not only disappointed when his academic high seriousness, his severity or rigor of tone give way to his illustration. Bildische Darstellung. One is not only disappointed by the consumer-like hurry toward the co content of a rep representation, by the heaviness of the pa pathos, by the coded triviality of the descri this description, which is both overloaded and impoverished, and one never knows if it's busying itself around a picture, real shoes, or shoes that are imaginary but outside the painting, not only disappointed by the crudeness of the framing, the arbitrarily and arbitrary and barbaric nature of the cutting out, the massive self-assurance of the identification, a pair of peasant shoes, just like that. Where did he get that from? Where does he explain himself on this matter? So one does not disappoint. So one is not dis only disappointed, one sniggers. The fall in tension is too great. One follows step by step the moves of a great thinker as he returns to the origin of the work of art and truth traversing the whole history of the West, and then suddenly, at a bend in the corridor, here we are on a guided tour, as, as school children or tourists. Someone's gone to fetch the guide from the neighboring farm, full of goodwill. He loves the earth and a certain type of painting when he can find himself in it. Giving up his usual activity, he goes out to get his key while the visitors wait, slowly getting out of the coach. There's a Japanese tourist among them who in a moment will ask a few questions of the guide in a stage whisper. Then this tour begins. With his local Swabian accent, he tries to get the visitors going. He sometimes manages it, at, and each time this happens, he also trembles regularly in time. He piles up the associations and immediate projections. From time to time, he points out of the window to the field, and nobody notices that he's no longer t talking about the painting. All right, one says to oneself in that scene, the choice of the example, the procedure of the treatment, nothing in all this is fortuitous. This casual guide is the very person who, before and after this incredible tirade, carries on with his discourse on the origin of the work of art and truth. It's the same discourse. It has never been interrupted by the slightest digression. <laughs> what all the these professional professorial procedures with regards to the shoe are lacking in, moreover, is a sense of digression. The shoe have to make a pair and walk on the road, forwards or backwards, in a circle if pushed, but no digression or side steps allowed. Now there is a link between the detachability of the step and the possibility of the digressive. I see that you are shocked in your deference by the scene which I have, how I shall put it, projected. Then let's get back to, into the classroom. All that is classical, class business, the business of pedagogy and classicity. Professor Heidegger, as Professor Shapiro says in homage to Professor Goldstein, projects a transparency. He wants to capture your interest through this illustration right from the beginning of his lecture. For the origin was in the beginning, at a very significant date, a series of lecture developed before the Kunstwissenschaftliche Gesellschaft and then before the Freie, Freie Deutsche Hochschrift.
Gift and show it. The illustration has just been uttered, and it had been several times previously. I suggest that that's where we should start, if we must begin, and if we must reach a Piro's note against which I intend to defend systematically, at least for the committee's the committee exercise. The cause of Heidegger, who don't forget also offers in this place where it is the question of the thing and important important discourse of on the cause of. A fair number of difficulties arise from what was translation translated by illustration. In its protocol, Shapiro uses the word which also translate into French, Bildische Darstellung, for the purpose of an illustration suffices. We choose for this famous picture by Van Gogh. Shapiro opens his text and the origin at this point, by what right? And he writes in his essay on the origin of the work of art, Martin Heidegger interprets a painting by Van Gogh to illustrate the nature of art as a disclosure of truth. He comes to this picture of, in, a, in the course of distinguished three modes of beginning, of useful artifacts, products, of natural things and of works of fine art. He proposes to describe the first without any ph philosophical theory, a fam familiar sort of equipment, zoic product, a pair of peasant shoes, and to facilitate the visual realization, translating Veran Schallischung, intuitive sensory presentation, and then of them, he chooses a well-known painting by Van Gogh, who painted shoes several times. But to grasp the equipmental being of equipment, we must know how shoes actually serve. For the peasant woman, they serve her with her thinking about them, or even looking at them. <laughs> Standing and walking in the shoes, the peasant woman knows their serviceabilities. Dienlichkeit in which the equipmental being of equipment consists. But we, and Shapiro quotes these two paragraphs, which you all find so ridiculous and imprudent. Let's reread them first in German, in French, and English. And that's a minute. It's done. Before going any further, I shall pick out from the cutting out in Shapiro's protocol a certain number of simplifications not to call them anything worse. They, are, they have effects on everything that follows. He simplifies matters by saying that Heidegger interprets a painting to illustrate the nature of art as the unveiling of truth. To prove this, one has no need to refer to what the following passage says, which in translating first, the work in no way served Dinte Garnicht as it may have seemed at first, to illustrate more clearly what a product is. What has here been translated as illustrate is Ferran Schallischung, this time and not Darstellung, which is also translated above as illustration. Ferran Schallischung, intuitive presentation as it were, is what we had to be to be facilitated by invoking the example of the picture. But it is not what, it is not what was not done, although it seems, seemed as though that's what's happen, what was happening. Heidegger makes this quite clear. The work did not serve us to do that, did not do us the service which, all in all, we pretend to expect from it. It did better than illustrating or presenting something to sensory intuition, or worse, depending on your point of view, it showed, it made appear. Heidegger had just called, recalled that the work did not serve as Brandschallischung or Darstellung, and he goes on to specify, much more is the product, is the being product of the product which arrives, properly eigens, and only through the work at its appearing. This appearing of the being product does not, according to Heidegger, take place in it elsewhere which the work of art could illustrate by referring to it. It takes place properly and only in the work, in its very truth. This might seem to aggravate the illusion denounced by Shapiro 
and to place under the heading of presentation what was marked down only in the name of representation, as if Heidegger thought he could too he could see still more directly what Shapiro reproaches him for inferring too hastily. But things are not so simple, and we shall have to return to this.